um, welcome to the 14th edition of the uh, Bogart Special, and um, getting near to the end actually. Um, again, I'll apologise for the racket that's going on outside my window. Build is still going, but at least they play some good tunes. Mainly 80s, unfortunately it's very loud. Um, but currently it's altered images. Um, I could be happy. So that's okay. Um, <laughs> today is... I'm talking about the seventh song on the album, the last full song, because the next ones I'm talking about are the intro and the outro, which are very important. Um, and this song is called Saharan Skies, and if you've been keeping up to date with stuff I've put up, um, I, well, I think it was during lockdown, I did an acoustic version, and I sneaked it out there, if anybody saw that. Um, Saharan Skies uh, is inspired by, surprisingly, uh, Sahara, which is the war film. Um, from 1943, uh, Bogey and a whole load of guys out in the desert with a tank. Um, it's kind of basically, uh, three Americans in their tank. I can't remember what type of tank it is. M3 Lee tank. Um, but it's called Lulabelle. They've painted Lulabelle on the side and that's the name of Bogey's, uh, or he plays, uh, Sergeant Joe Gunn. And, uh, Lulabelle is his pride and joy. Um, and they're, um, tootling along through the desert and, uh, retreating to the south, uh, to the Allied lines and they pick up, um, various soldiers of, um, from different countries on their way back. Um, and obviously they'll get along and have kind of shoot down a German plane and things but their their main thing is they're trying to look for water first because they're trying to get back but they've got absolutely no water um and they kind of find a well but there's not a lot in it and then basically 500 germans come along um but it's a very very good war film for people who are not really bothered about war films this is a good one it's not just i suppose war films these days it's a lot of explosions um but this is not and it's more about what i really like about it is the um the way you almost get to know each little character in it and kind of their reasons for being there or what they've got back home and, and the way they kind of get along. Um, uh, including the Italian prisoner um, that they have with them. And he's, he's, he's got a nice little role in it. Um, but it's, it's a good film. It's a very good film. And um, I didn't plan to write a song about this one. I thought, oh, I'm just going to watch it. And with the others, I thought, okay, yeah, I'll write stuff down after the third watch and have a go. But then with Sahara, it was it was more of a happy accident. Um, I watched it for the first time. And this is where it gets embarrassing because basically I watched the film, went to bed and had a dream. Um, and the thing is, literally before I went to sleep, it wasn't one of those things where you kind of contemplate your life in general before you turn the light off. And I was contemplating the film. I thought, that's a very good film. And obviously, as I have admitted before, I do have a crush on Bogey. And uh, <laughs> in the kind of main thing in it is when they have a tiny bit of water in this place, they realise that 500 Germans are coming that way. And uh, Joe Gunn's in charge. And he decides or thinks maybe they should either stay and try and, even though there's about 10 of them, hold off the 500 that are coming that way and heading the same way towards where they're retreating to allied lines and hold them back at least. No one may know what they've done, but it may make a difference. Um, but he he turns around to all of them and says, look, I don't have a wife or a girlfriend back home. I don't have anything, um, but you guys do. So I don't want to make the decision. If you guys think this idea is okay, we'll stay and do it. If you don't want to, we'll head back towards the Allies and hope that the Germans don't keep up. Um, and, <laughs> uh, sad girl that I am, uh, as I was doing life, I thought, it's a bit of shame Joe doesn't have a, a girlfriend. I would happily have been his girlfriend. Um, and then uh, just turned the light up and went to sleep. I then had a dream. And yes, I was his girlfriend. But it wasn't quite like that. It was, um, you know, one of those rare, kind of very beautiful dreams. More just because it was in the desert. Um, I, uh, when I was younger, for about 10 years, lived in Dubai, um, which is where my dad had to be based. 
and I've been out in the desert very quite a few times and it's it's a really lovely and harsh place um but at night it's lovely especially obviously you never went right out into the horrible bit you're at you're near the oasis parts and um I kind of with this song wanted to focus on all those kind of the senses really so you could really pick up on that well as much as you can in a three or four minute song um because there was a lovely thing about the desert at night you know the sky's like a I always think black velvet with ice and sugar sprinkled on it because there's no light pollution and the sand's still warm and it's softer sand than you'd get on the beach it's bright red or bright orange and it's very fine and um you were uh, well we used to live the villa occasionally you get flamingos flying over so that's why i reference uh, flamingos flying over in the night sky for basically a silly little dream um and I just it literally explain, uh, describe it word for word. So the palace in the desert, Joe's there. For some reason, my brain decided, no, I won't put it in his uniform. Put it in the Casablanca, Casablanca tux. But, you know, suited it. It was meant to be a dinner party in the palace. Um, it's amazing how your uh, brain um, hides little bits of information and then brings it out. Um, that it's hidden away. Like... Uh, I, th I don't know where I picked it up from. Like, I knew during the war they would, you know, kind of take over buildings or something just for where they would need to meet to discuss things. So my brain went, yes, palace, they've taken it over. They're having a meeting. Uh, Joe's there. I'm there for some reason. Oh, uh, I'm a colonel's driver. Um, because women took over as uh, drivers when the men were out fighting, so they took over doing the jobs that they wouldn't do in the like, uh, women's navy and uh, army and RAF. So that's another little bit in my brain that decided to stick that in the dream. It's amazing how these things work. Um, but, so basically I stuck that all in, but it's one of those songs where you can either look at it quite literally and say, because I said last night, the first line is last night, I dreamt of Joe. And um, you can either take that literally as a person who's just dreamt about a character, um, from uh, me dreaming of a character quite literally, or as how it turned out, which I'm quite proud of, or as a, a person who's thinking of someone they're missing, or they've lost, or they don't know if they're missing or not. Um, so it's, it's kind of two, three dimensional almost. Um, and uh, the sound wise it sounds really cool I, I had looked for songs I was trying to look for a kind of a desert inspiration kind of sound and the only one I could think of at this time was Tea in the Sahara by uh, The Police which is a lovely song if you want to check it out so it's actually got a bit of a police type sound um, thanks to uh, the wonderful Dawn and Richie um, and so it's more like tea in the tower or wrapped around your finger, which is a great another great song. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm proud of that one too. It's amazing how all these songs. I'm actually quite proud of them all. And um, I don't think there's any that I think are stronger than the others. Now we've been working on them. Um, I'll stop waffling. Uh, there is the acoustic version. It's hidden somewhere on my YouTube, my Facebook videos, or Instagram. IGTV, whatever that's called, um, uh, in my lockdown live, uh, you can find uh, Sahara and Skies, and you can see that in the acoustic version. Um, and uh, I think, oh no, it's last week, there was some vocal, backing vocal bits, if you wanted to rewatch that. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I really hope you like it. Um, Another thing, it's very ma amazing. I don't know if any anyone else has this. Uh, how bogey disappears in your dreams. I think it's just me. Um, don't worry, I do think of other things. Just occasionally he pops up there. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stop talking. And <laughs> I hope you have uh, a lovely week and weekend when it arrives. And I hope you're enjoying the sunshine. And if you don't have sunshine, I hope you get some. And stay safe, stay happy.
be kind, and I'll see you next week.